Imagine picking up a big signal from deep space. One so big that it could leave the scientists stunned. Wouldn't it be an exciting feeling discovering something so massive that it could make a difference in the world? The wow signal is one of the most mysterious discoveries of the unknown universe. It happened when a radio telescope in Ohio caught a strong, narrow and totally unexpected signal from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation. But here's the kicker, that signal has never been heard again. What was it? Where did it come from? And could it be a message from extraterrestrial life? To get answers to all these questions filled with mystery, watch this video till the end and explore what's hidden in our universe. On August 15, 1977, a radio telescope in Ohio picked up a strange signal from space. The signal came from a part of the sky where there are many stars. The signal was very strong, very narrow, and completely unexpected. The astronomer who found it was so amazed by how unusual it was that he wrote WOW in big letters next to it on the data printout. Before we talk about what the signal indicated, Let's first look at what science was like in the 1970s. Imagine the excitement of the 1970s, a time when scientists were getting serious about one big question. Are we alone in the universe? Projects like SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, were created with one goal in mind, to catch any signals that might be coming from other civilizations out there. The idea was to listen to radio signals from space, hoping to catch something that might show we're not alone in the universe. To make this happen, scientists used some pretty impressive tools. One of the biggest was a radio telescope known as Big Ear, located at Ohio State University. This massive structure wasn't just any telescope. It was built to listen closely to the universe, scanning for any unusual signals among the sea of cosmic noise. For years, Big Ear quietly listened, waiting for something special. Then came August 1977. A few days after Big Ear recorded its usual data, an astronomer named Jerry Amon sat down to review it. As he flipped through the printouts, something caught his eye. It was a signal stronger than anything he had seen before, coming from a tiny spot in the sky. This wasn't just another random noise. This was different. Jerry was so stunned that he grabbed a red pen, circled the signal and scribbled one word beside it. Wow. That single word captured the thrill of the discovery. And it's why we still call it the wow signal today. Let's decode the signal. It incited the code 6EQUJ5. This wasn't a secret message or code from aliens, but rather a way to show how strong the signal was at different times. This string represents the signal's intensity, measured using a specific system during the experiment. The signal appeared as a steady, unchanging wave and any changes occurring faster than 10 seconds or slower than 72 seconds wouldn't have been detected. The intensity was measured by comparing the signal to background noise averaged over a few minutes. The intensity was shown as a series of characters on the printout. A space meant the intensity was between 0 and 1, which is just above the baseline noise. Numbers from 1 to 9 represented higher intensities, while letters showed even stronger signals. The WOW signal's highest intensity was marked as U, which means it was 30 times stronger than the normal background noise. Quite incredible, isn't it? The WOW signal wasn't just a fleeting moment of cosmic curiosity. It had a big impact on astronomy and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It was a major boost for radio astronomy or SETI. Until then, the idea of detecting alien signals was mostly theoretical. This signal provided the first strong evidence that it might be possible. Researchers were excited by the possibility that the signal could be from an alien civilization. It led to increased funding and more attention to SETI projects. Scientists began to refine their techniques and improve their equipment, hoping to capture similar signals. How do you think the WOW signal changed how we think about aliens and space? Beyond the scientific community, the WOW signal captured the public's imagination. It became a symbol of our quest to understand the universe and our place in it. The signal sparked numerous books and documentaries, and even inspired science fiction stories. 
It fueled public interest in space exploration and the possibility of finding alien life, contributing to a much larger cultural fascination with the cosmos. The WOW signal, picked up in 1977, is still one of the biggest mysteries in the search for aliens. Even though we haven't figured out where it came from, it keeps our hope alive that we might find signs of alien life. Scientists are still searching for signals like the WOW one. They're using better radio telescopes and new methods to listen to the stars more closely. Projects like the Breakthrough Listen Initiative are pushing the boundaries of technology to search for signals that might finally answer the age-old question, are we alone? As technology improves, the hope of finding another signal like the WOW keeps growing. The mystery of the WOW signal inspires both scientists and the public, keeping our curiosity about the universe and the possibility of meeting aliens alive. And that's it for our look at the WOW signal. We've explored what makes this signal so intriguing and why it still gets people talking. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more cool space stuff. Got any thoughts or questions about the WOW signal? Leave a comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep wondering about the universe.